I'm Thaddeus Rajewowski, president of the Piast Institute. This presentation is being made in cooperation with the Polish Women's Hall of Fame, which was created by the Piast Institute. Today's presentation is on the great Polish actress, one of our earliest inductees, Helena Mordrzejewska. Helena Mordrzejewska was born October 12th, 1840 in Krakow and died April 8th, 1909 in Newport Beach, California. She began her acting career on provincial stages with the strong support of her partner, Gustav Zimeyer. It was thanks to him that she first appeared on stage in Bochnia in 1861, and shortly afterwards in Novi Sonch, Przemysh, Rzeszów, and Brzezany. Reviewers at the time wrote of the unquestionable talent of Mrs. Modrievska, who while still coping with the difficulties of her profession, put so much work and diligence into every stage appearance that over time, she may become the star of the very best theaters. She moved to Krakow and made her stage debut there in October 1865. Mordrzejewska first appeared in the Krakow Theater as Sarah in Wacław Szymanowski's Salomon. A reviewer for the Kurior Warszawski wrote, she came across as the kind of actress who is hard to find even on the stages of the great capital cities. An artist who through work and enlightened management could join the first ranks of her profession. Mother Nature has been very generous with her. She's given her all that an artist needs, a beautiful appearance, figure, voice, and most importantly, the gift of artistic perspicacity, which makes an actress instinctively feel what a role needs. Mordrzejewska spent her four years in Krakow working hard, competing with the great actress Antonina Hoffmann, and enjoying great success with both public and critics alike. An intelligent and sensitive individualist, Mordrzejewska used her time at the Krakow Theater well, learning a new and more understated style of acting and getting rid of some of her more provincial theater habits. By 1868, Mordrzejewska's fame had reached Warsaw. On October 4th, she made her first appearance in front of audiences in the capital. A reviewer wrote of her debut. Even early on, she was able to moderate her performance and the plot moved on, preferring to build it almost from scratch. The role of Adriana, in which she starred, was better suited to this method than any other. On that night, Mordrievska, starting from zero, worked the audience into a frenzy of enthusiasm by the end of act five. By the time she left the Warsaw Government Theater in 1876, she had firmly established her position as Poland's greatest actress, as well as one of the most interesting actresses of her generation in all of Europe. Shakespeare held a special place in her repertoire, and during her career in Warsaw, she appeared in his plays a total of 95 times. In July 1876, Mordrzejewska gave a last performance in front of a Polish audience and left for America. She was accompanied by her husband, Karol Wapowski, whom she had married in Krakow in 1868. She first settled in Anaheim, California. The following year, she simplified her name to Mojeska and moved to San Francisco. After taking an intensive English course, she made her stage debut at the California Theater. It was a tremendous success. And in a cable to her husband, she wrote simply, Victory. As Henryk Szynkiewicz, then a correspondent for Gazeta Polska, wrote at the end of his account of her performance. Everybody was in a frenzy. Nobody left their seats after the show was over, which is unheard of in America. Contrary to local custom, the actress was called back 11 times. America was taken by storm. 
In the autumn of 1877, Morzhevska embarked upon her first tour of America, appearing on stages in New York, Philadelphia, Boston, and Washington, among others. She is one of the greatest actresses of our time, wrote a reviewer for Philadelphia's Public Register. Her method is calm and composed. There isn't a touch of hysteria and even the most fiery explosions. She has a shocking power, made even stronger by the fact she allows only a part of it to expose itself on the stage. And she has a wonderfully expressive face. There is so much grace and truth in her movements, and she expresses so much through her body that she could clearly and accurately convey her thoughts through pantomime alone. Wojewska was very well established in American acting circles. She even became the godmother of the famous American actress Ethel Barrymore. In 1880, Morzhevska gave a series of guest performances in England. She was very well received and would later revisit England in 1881, 1882, and 1885. She became a United States citizen in 1883 and continued acting here until 1907. She worked very hard going on 26 tours with her company. From 1897, she began traveling to Poland as a guest performer, visiting Kraków nine times, Lwów six times, and Warsaw four times, as well as in Poznań, Tarnów, Łódź, Lublin, and Stanisławów. Her repertoire included 260 different roles. She built an estate in California in 1888, which she named after Shakespeare's mythical forest, Arden, in As You Like It. Wojciechowska was not only an amazing woman, but a great patriot for Poland and America. She enriched enormously American culture, and she became an international ambassador for a nation that did not exist.